Hello, I'm James from the PlayStation Blog. This is the game room here at Ski Headquarters. Uh, the reason I'm here is that when I got into work this morning, I found this on my desk, uh, which is called the PlayStation Move Sharpshooter. And it's a little bit like the PlayStation Move shooting attachment, but it's designed for first-person shooters where you have to control your movements. And rather than write a blog post telling you all about it and giving my first impressions, I thought I would just come in here and try it out on camera and show you the results. Okay, so first of all, I'll put my PlayStation Move controller in the top here. And then in my right pocket I've got a navigation controller which slots into the handle just here. And I don't know how well you can see on here but as well as the, the traditional PlayStation Move buttons that you have on here You've got extra buttons here, so this trigger has obviously got a long lever that pulls the trigger on your move controller, and you've also got a move control, a move button beneath the trigger, and a reload button on the base, so you can quite easily reload your weapon. And to try it out, um, I've booted up Killzone 3, which we have here. Um, lucky enough to have some early code from Gorilla. So let's start here. We're, we're here at the icy level that was first shown at E3. Uh, really intuitive, really nice way of playing these levels in particular. I'm not using the navigation control at all, just the trigger and just my own aim. I'm just taking out this what it is like an oil platform or something. Do they have oil in hell again? Yeah. So now I've moved on to the next level, and this is a more traditional FPS level, so I'm using my left thumb to control my strafing movements on the navigation controller and kind of the, the purpose that you usually do with the right stick on a regular controller I'm, I'm doing using my aim here so we're at the snowy level that was, that was previously shown at E3 again and this is a bit of a, a bit of a voyage of discovery for me because this is the first time I've I've even played the game with move okay so you can you can click in the left stick on the navigation controller and that will that will zoom in. It's also got an auto target. It makes it a bit easier. And yeah, just to just to point out that all of the controls are fully customizable, including these extra buttons that are on the gun itself. So it's gonna be well worth playing around and just seeing seeing which setup's gonna be right for you. Okay, well there's a sneak peek of the PlayStation Move Sharpshooter. I mean, this is going to be in shops in time for Killzone 3, so uh, check out this new way of playing the game.